What's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, I know it's been a while. It's been a while since I've I've went live. Uh, I'm trying to wait till it gets packed, but um, I just wanted to talk to you guys pretty much. Um, I know it's been a while. I don't really say much, kind of in my own world. Um, I just wanted to like kind of break down uh, what I've been going through lately um, and why I've been so isolated. I'm happy you enjoyed the tour. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for canceling the end of the tour. Um, I canceled it due to my mental health, and physical health. Uh, I felt like I needed to work on me. Um, rid all the outside distractions and influences and genuinely uh, root back to myself, uh, root back to source. And um, I felt like I owed it to myself and to, to everyone who supports me to be the best me. Um, overall, I haven't been the best me. And I don't, I didn't like the, the path I was heading down. So um, I want to, I want to make it up to everybody. Um, I'm going to be organizing an event as a, I'm sorry for canceling the remainder of the American tour for everybody. Um, it's going to be bigger and better and I'm gonna be performing all new music. Uh, I have a, a project coming out very soon. I know I just released an album, but I'm ready to, to give you guys what I wanna give you, what I really wanna give you right now. And, um, it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. Uh, I'll be announcing the, or releasing the cover and the title of the EP very soon. So for those of you who care or excited for that, there's new music coming, but um, I really just felt like I needed a touch down or touch touch back to or tap back in with you guys. Uh, I haven't been the most clear headed. I haven't been in the most clear head space lately. As you can see, it's kind of hard for me to communicate. So um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I, I owed it to you guys to give you some sort of explanation for my actions. But you guys help me live. You guys are the only reason I'm here. I just want to be <clears throat> I just want to be genuinely me. Like I don't want I don't want to do anything that I don't want to fucking do. I don't want to partake in the fucking rat race. I'm tired of it. I don't want to fucking I don't want to feel like I have to answer to anybody or do fucking anything that I don't want to do just like any of you shouldn't. You should do exactly what the fuck you want to do. You shouldn't do what anybody wants you to do. Do you. And that's what the fuck I want to do. I want to do everything I want to do. I don't care if anyone likes it. I don't care if you like it. I'm going to do what the fuck I want. And that's what I'm doing for not, from now on. And I recommend you guys all do the fucking same. So I don't give a fuck about how anybody feels about what I fucking make. If you don't want to fucking listen to it, don't listen to it. I, I don't give a fuck if you don't want to watch what I, what I, what I create. Um, I'm going to be fucking releasing movies. 
Um, I wrote a movie script with a friend of mine, Damien Delore. It's really fucking sick. I can't wait to put it into, into bring it to life and, and show you guys. I've been writing a book for a while now. Um, I'm just trying to fucking really, really do everything I want to do. I'm not trying to cater to the bullshit. I'm not trying to cater to the industry. I'm not trying to just sell you guys fucking products. I'm not trying to fucking be fake i'm not trying to build a facade of fucking a portion of what i am to make you guys actually fucking like me at this point i really don't give a fuck who likes me or what the fuck or who cares about what the fuck i do if you don't care you can fuck off seriously i'm at a point in my life right now where i'm gonna do exactly what the fuck i want and no one's gonna stop me ever i'm killing anybody who gets in the way of me i will destroy you if you try to stop me, no one's stopping me, except myself. If I want to stop, I will stop. I recommend none of you guys follow any fucking structure. Structure is a system, is a, is, a, is a system created before you. Follow structures you create, follow orders that you want to follow. Do not fall in line at all. And when they make you try to fall in line, you fucking destroy that line. You destroy everything in front of you. Burn it down. If you don't want it, burn it down. Do not conform to the bullshit. It will destroy you. Do not conform to social media. Don't don't feel like you have to fucking put your life on this fucking on this platform for people to like you. Don't feel like you fucking have to do what everybody else is doing to fit in. Don't feel like you have to fucking dance on TikTok for people to fucking like you. Don't feel like you have to do anything you don't want to fucking do. Stop letting all of this information bombard your brain and ruin your connection with source. You are the universe. You are everything. Everybody is everything. Matter, energy, you, me. We are all everything. You are the universe. You are source. Source is in you. You are connected to source. If you don't find your connection, you'll be damned. I promise you. You'll be ruined. You'll be ridiculed. You'll be taken advantage of. You would follow structures that were created before you. You will not create. You will be dull. I, I recommend all of you guys take the time out of your day to sit down and meditate on what you want. All the time that you spend on social media, all the time that you spend bickering about how you don't like things or do like things or all the time you spend on video games, unless it fucking, it's your job fucking take time to yourself take time to the you with, with you and the world you and the universe be genuine to people actually consider people's emotions consider people's con consider people's intake on your interactions with them get deeper with people build relationships formulate bonds
I'm gonna preview you guys a song that one song off of the off of the project that I'm dropping. One. I want to read you guys something out of my journal. I'm going to read you guys something out of my journal. These are thoughts that I've been pondering on for a while. I don't want to believe in your God. I don't want to believe in your philosophies or theories. Your faith and belief blind you. Like, I'm gonna let a couple more people get in here actually before I start reading. Do you guys want me to read? Am I am, am I allowed to, to 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 read you guys something out of my journal? I said, I don't want to believe in your God. I don't want to believe in your philosophies or theories. Your, your faith blind you with the yearn for hope. Humanity and mortality are an uncurable plague that will kill us all. I know nothing, I am nothing, and I am going nowhere. I don't want to continue partaking in the rat race. The exhausting existence we share of Repetitive nonsense and meaningless interaction has grown gray and old. We should be ashamed of ourselves for giving up our, our control of self. You are not free, you are blind. You are a slave to the, relig to, to the religions that they have created, the, the society that they have governed, and the thoughts that they have programmed you with. You will not be saved unless you take full responsibility for all of your actions and realize that you are creating your destiny and your final outcome with every single action you make. No matter how small that action may be, it's gonna cause a chain of events that will determine your future, as you could say. I want all of you guys to stop partaking in the rat race. If you're a part of this cult, if you're a part of this family, you will not partake in the rat race. You will not be a follower. You will not let them control you. You will do what the fuck you want and you will destroy everything that stops you. Okay, I'm gonna preview you guys. I'm gonna preview you guys a song off of this new project. It's very heavy. Um, I would like for you to just listen.
and I'm the same as us I'm from the mud, no one gave a fuck So fuck how you feeling, we hang from the ceiling At night when it's silent and dangerous One by one, when you have the call Sing on the siren and kill them all, show no mercy Take down the throne, Rasta No one gave a fuck, so fuck uh, They're not the same as us I'm from the mud, no one gave a fuck So fuck how you feeling, we hang from the ceiling at night when it's silent and dangerous One by one when you hear the call Signal the siren and kill them all Show no mercy to those who have none at all Take down the throne, watch the hierarchy fall Dab it on sleep, bury me deep. The song's called I Was Gonna Murder My Ex-Girlfriend, but instead I, I just wanted to kill something beautiful. Well, it's called I Was Gonna Murder My Ex-Girlfriend, quote-unquote. I just want to kill something beautiful. I just felt like I owed it to you guys to let you to let you know what was going on. Um, show you some shit. Uh, maybe read something out of my journal. Uh, get you guys to understand me a little more. I know I don't talk much. I know you guys don't really fucking know who I am. So I'm gonna take the time out so you can get to know me and we can get to know each other. Um, I apologize for being so distant, but to me it mattered more to get to where I am mentally, to be undestructible or indestructible, to not be able to be tethered with, to not be easily emotional or easily bothered. It's a weakness. Rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. I have his original piece that he, re that he released. Um, right here uh it was very sad news but i've always known that he, he was gonna make history and black history especially i feel as if uh virgil abloh deserves to be uh celebrated in black history month for his accomplishments and for being such a strong person and not using his fucking his terminal illness as a weakness or for fucking sympathy like some like some people do on here, they fucking talk about how they how depressed they are and how sad they are all day, and they make you guys all feel bad for them, and they make you depressed and they drag you down with them. 
They want you to be just as depressed as they are. They want you to feel just as sad as they are. They do not want you to be happy. They will take you down with them. I promise. They want to take you down with them. They say it to you. They laugh about it in your face. And you guys still listen to them. You guys still follow in their tracks. They're ruining you. Yeah, you want to go sip lean. You want to go pop pills. You want to go do all that bullshit, right? That's the music you guys like listening to. Go listen to it. And watch what it does to your life. You're going to be a fucking drug addict, dying, sick in bed every fucking day, throwing up like a fucking junkie because you like listening to these fucking idiots who are going to drag you down and they're not going to be there when you're in a fucking gutter. I promise you. All these fuckers just want to flash the shit that they have that you bought them, that you got for them, that you guys pay for. And they give you nothing back. They give you nothing in return. At all. What's so fucking ever. At all. They just take. They never fucking give. They take. They, they never give. And they fucking influence you guys to kill yourselves. You're literally being influenced to fucking kill yourself. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. I will not continue to partake in that bullshit. It doesn't matter about what I do. Even if I do do drugs, I'm not going to fucking say don't do drugs. Don't do don't do anything that I fucking do. What are you are you gonna follow me? What if I jump? You guys, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. You want to jump with me? I'm gonna jump off a fucking building. You want to jump with me? Is that what you guys want to do? That's fucking stupid. It's dumb. You want to go fucking sip a lean and listen to your favorite rapper all day and blow all your fucking money? You want to fucking pop perks all day and fucking not be able to pay your fucking bills and be junked out on the streets, fucking selling your body to get high? Are you fucking dumb? my thoughts on frequencies um i believe that we are all constantly living on different frequencies i mean emotional frequencies uh energetic frequencies i mean there's frequencies flowing through the air all day we're using a frequency right now to communicate um my thoughts on them and how and what they're doing to people i don't think people are aware of what frequencies they're fucking programming themselves with people are just constantly injecting like you're you're constantly releasing different different chemicals in your brain and getting and getting different feelings based on all this shit you see all this shit you're being programmed with like it's 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 crazy especially with music like that's why i was telling you guys fucking go go take some time to yourself without any inspiration like at all like don't fucking listen to anybody don't listen to what anybody has to say. Don't fucking, don't have anything programming you. Go into nature, sit down, fucking think, ponder, come up with ideas. Ideas are everything. Your ideas is what's going to create your reality. If you don't formulate ideas, you're going to live in other people's ideas. You have to create. You have to create. If you do not create, you're going to fucking be, you're going to be a sheep. You're going to be a fucking sheep. You're going to listen to everybody. You're going to follow with whatever your boss fucking says because you're going to be too scared to get fired. And I get it. You have to fucking, you have to partake in it for a while. But get out of it. There's so many ways to get out. Use your fucking ideas. Come up with more ideas. When you're hanging out with your friends, stop fucking just sitting there on your, on your iPhones or stop sitting there fucking completely blanked out of reality. Talk about shit. Stop being so fucking boring. Talk about something. Come up with ideas. Build a business with your best fucking friend. Do fucking... Do cool shit. This is shit no one wants to tell you. They want to tell you to go get fucking high. They want to tell you to ruin your life with them. These people are unhappy, bro. There's real fucking demons. Like actual ones, you know, that are going to fucking really bring you down with them. They're going to get you hooked on drugs. They're going to they're gonna make you fucking dependent. 
You do not want to be dependent on anything except yourself. You need water, you need food, you need resources from earth. That's it. You need shelter. Well, what else, what else do you fucking need? What is everybody what is everybody in the fucking rush for? What is every what is everybody freaking out for? What do you need so bad if you have fucking shelter, transportation, food, like fucking resources, bro? That's all that fucking matters. No one paying attention to you fucking matters. Wake up, please. I am doing it. I am doing it. And that's why it took so long to fucking talk to you guys because I wanted to practice what I preached. I didn't want to fucking be a false fucking prophet or a false narrative. I don't want to be sitting here talking about shit that I don't practice and just fucking trying to make it seem like everything's all fucking jolly because it's not. It's fucking not. It's like it takes a lot of fucking time to work on yourself. It may take fucking years. It could take decades. But if you don't fucking start now, it's never going to happen. I promise you. You are programming yourself with who you're going to be for the rest of your life right now. You, the, the patterns that you're getting used to right now are going to formulate who you're going to be for that forever. So become the best you possible. Become you. Do not follow them. I don't want you guys to care about what I create at all. I'm not begging for nobody's fucking attention. Never been the type to do it. I'm just stating what I feel like needed to be said. If you guys want to know me, this is me. I canceled the remainder of the tour due to work, so due to my mental health. I wanted to work on myself before I was fucking putting myself in front of people. As I said, I wanted to practice what the fuck I preached. I'm not trying to sit here fucking lead, get, giving false narratives. I want to be the best fucking me. I want to continually grow and get better and, and do whatever the fuck I want. I'm not letting anybody put me in the box. I don't care who wants fucking old Stacy. I don't care about who wants anything from me because it's not what the fuck I want. And if you actually support me, you'll support what the fuck I wanna do. You're not gonna be trying to make me someone who do the fuck I'm not. I don't wanna be someone who I'm not. I don't wanna fucking work with Taz. They don't do what I like. They don't make the fucking music I like. I don't wanna work with any of these people. Like, what the fuck? I'm not going to work with people who don't make what I, what I fucking like or do what the fuck I want to do, period. That's just what the fuck it is. I'm not sitting here sucking anybody's dick for anything. I don't, I don't want to fucking be fucking sitting here depending on people for shit and depending on fucking people for, for fucking anything, bro. I'll do my shit with my fucking people and be my fucking self. And if you fucking support it, support it. And if you don't, fuck off. Yeah, exactly. Old Stacy was depressed, Stacy. If you want that, you don't fucking care about me. You want a kid who was fucking in LA, trapped and not being able to do what the fuck he wanted to do, completely unhappy, ready to give up, bro, and fucking not even want to do this shit anymore because it wasn't what I wanted to fucking do. I don't want to be a fucking industry player. I don't want to be a fucking, I don't want to be controlled and manipulated. I don't want my, my career being fucking toyed with and fucking like, put, like a puppet pulling my fucking strings. As I said, I will kill and destroy everybody who gets in my my way or tries to control me you will not fucking succeed i promise you
You should never want anybody to be the same for life. That's fucking stupid. Like, you want to be the same idiot for life? Like, never learn, never read a book, never do anything different, never create anything. You never want, you so you just want to be the fucking same. You want to live with your mom forever. You want to fucking, mommy, can you make me dinner? Mommy, can you fucking, like, what, bro? Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, I don't get, I don't get, some, some of the shit you guys say, like, I don't get. I love, I love the fuck out of you guys, bro, but, like, think a little bit, please. You will need to continually grow constantly and come up with new ideas constantly to be happy. Repetitive formulas are boring. It's fucking boring. Why do you think why do you think even successful billionaires they they do multiple ventures? Nobody wants to do one thing forever, the same exact thing or be the same exact fucking person if you're smart. You want to continually grow and see new things and be better. Like what? I do believe in God, but I don't believe in your God. I believe in source. I believe we all stem from, from the same thing. I believe that existence itself is, is, is really, it's God expressing himself. We, we are all, uh, we are all existing. Even animals have consciousness, plants have consciousness. Everything has consciousness. It's all still living. I believe and and I believe in source. I believe that there is and there is an all there's an uh, there's an all powerful energy. There's a there there is a there is a a, a substan there's a, a substantial energy source creating everything, and our ideas come from thin air. Like we we share a collective consciousness. Our thoughts, all, 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 all our ideas, all of these things, our are, are, are similarities are because there is a cloud of information that we get our ideas from. That's why I'm saying ideas are key. You need to think and create to grow and evolve. Yeah, I'm packing. <laughs> yes, I believe in evolution. I've evolved multiple times in my lifespan. You are going to continually evolve. Whether you stay in the same mental state, you may not mentally evolve, but you will physically evolve. You will grow old. You will die. We are all going to die. That's why it's stupid to, to not do what you want to do. It's they, they, they're never going to teach you to, to create your own world. When you go to school, they, they, they teach you to follow order and structure. They, they teach you to follow guidelines, right? So they teach you to go to college get, and then do studies and practices and then get a job. They don't teach you how to formulate your own business and do what you want to fucking do. So what I'm saying is that you need to take time to yourself and figure out what you want to do to do anything. If you want to create anything or if you want to live in your own fucking world and not have to like get up every day and do what someone fucking tells you. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you have to do this. I just recommend it because everybody seems like they're depressed. Everybody seems like they're unhappy, but everyone's unhappy because they're not fucking living the life they want to live. Yeah, I find comfort in death when it comes because it's inevitable. It's it's you can't escape it. Why would you be? Why are we all so scared of something that we all have to that we all have to face one day? And you never know how it's gonna happen anyway. So it's just like in reality, I feel like you should look forward to it. You should you should embrace it and and live your life, dude. Everything you can while you're living in flesh, so that 
you 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 don't you you're not stressed about dying. You know what I'm trying to say? People fucking are worried about dying because you're gonna retire at fifty with like a pension of of money that's gonna run out in like five years, two years. See, like you know what I'm trying to say? It's inevitable. Like don't live that life. Do what the fuck you want to do now while you're alive and you're young and you're healthy and you fucking can do it. Save as much money as you can because you need money. But come up with ideas, invest in those ideas, and create your reality, bro. Or you're not gonna be happy. No one's gonna be happy. I, 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 I don't believe that consciousness dies. I don't know. It's, I don't know what comes after. I, 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 I've, I've, I've had experiences on, on uh, 5-MeO DMT and like ketamine and LSD where I, um, I've, I've accessed other, other realms and I've, I've accessed like other, uh, like, how could I say other dimensions? If you want to put it in that and, and, and that, if you want to say, say it like that, but, um, or if you want to put it in that context, but, um, I, my, my, my body's still alive to project that. So I don't know. I, I think that our brain is a projector for our, for our consciousness and our, our ideas, like in our eyes or like how we see and all those and all those things our senses are are a part of our trajectory so like um for me i don't know if I, I don't know if there's no projector if you're going to be able to if, if consciousness still lives but energy does so i don't know who knows right until we die i couldn't say because i'm still alive i've had experiences i've had i've had experiences out of this realm but i was still alive The first time I broke through on DMT, I was probably like 17 years old. Consciousness goes into the collective. Yes. Yes, I can agree with that. <clears throat> I can agree with that. I think hell is something you create. Um, if you create a world of sadness, uh, mourning, depression, uh, unsatisfaction, I believe that that will be your hell. I believe that you could create heaven as well. You could create a world that you love, a beautiful world that you were happy with because you created it. That's why I recommend you guys all use your ideas and create. Because you can create a heaven for yourself. You, you really can. You genuinely can. I stopped going on my Discord. So what I, what I wanted to do was get a storefront um, and then re when I released the clothing brand, have a pop-up. So I would be using my Scary Bratz uh, storefront as a pop-up for me to do pop-ups at and kick it with all the fans and or the supporters or the cult um, and and really, really bond. I, if you guys came to any of the shows, you guys, you guys see that I'm, 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 I'm human, like... I'm I'm very much like you. Like I, I, there's no difference. I, I like sitting down, hanging out with you guys. I have long talks with you. I have hour long talks with you at my shows. I uh, kick it with everybody like like how I would want to be. I treat everybody like how I would want to be treated. The energy that you put into the universe will reciprocate. You will get back what you give. 
So if you don't give and constantly take, the universe will constantly take from you. But if you constantly give love, it doesn't have to be money, or you, you, you give advice, or, or, or you give, you give somebody a shoulder, you give, you give constantly and you will receive constantly. The, the universe is very, 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 very specific. You have to be very, very, very in tune with yourself and know what you want and treat people kindly, treat yourself kindly, treat your mind better, treat everything better and you will receive better results. I recommend you guys look into the law, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Look into the law of perpetual transmutation of energy so that you can become powerful. And unscathable and not be rooted or steered in directions you don't want to. Please look into the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. I was abused, not by my parents as a child, but I was abused as a child. Um, my, my, my thoughts on child abuse is that it's fucked up and that, and if, if you've ever been through any child abuse, um, I recommend you um, seek therapy in different forms. Um, maybe if, if it's really traumatic, I recommend even doing like a, like a ayahuasca ceremony or a DMT ceremony. And like with shamans, I so say you could you could dig into that that trauma and and release it, get rid of it, flush that trauma from yourself, from your mind, body, and soul. If you don't have money for therapy, then I recommend you try to go to a, a cheap a cheap like ketamine clinic. And dig into those that dig into those traumas and face them. Meditate. Dig into those dig into those traumas and face them and accept them and realize that every day is a new day. Every day is a day for you to be happy. Every day is a day for you to change who you are. You can be whoever you want tomorrow. want to do. do do exactly what you want to do don't feel like you have to fit in don't like do don't do shit because you think it's popping and because you think it'll be it'll work and that's what's gonna make people like you do exactly whatever the fuck you want to do and that's why i got tired of this shit because I, I didn't i don't want to do what anyone wants me to do i want to do exactly what i want to do you know just be you be you do do you do exactly what you do and keep growing and getting better at what you do Keep growing and getting better at what you do. Advice on social anxiety. Loosen up. Nothing matters. We're all going to die, just like how we said earlier, right? So who cares about how, how, who you are or how you feel or how you act? 
grow, learn, learn, learn by starting to conversate. Um, put yourself in uncomfortable situations that you normally wouldn't put yourself into. Communicate, like force yourself out, talk to people, you know, mingle. Um, it, it's the only way. I can't say the show that the shows due to mental health. Due to my mental health, I needed to work on myself, <clears throat> and I wanted to. I wanted to release a new project, like uh, I wanted to release a um, like a, a project before I went to Europe with Ollie, with Bring Me the Horizon, and a day to remember, and want to show. I wanted to make sure that I I made. I made the best music I could so that when I'm performing in front of 30,000 people, I could I could be who I want to be, not not a, not a byproduct. Yeah, I have hoodies. I'll be putting I'll be putting them up on the website soon. Advice on depression. Um That's a tough one. Um, I don't recommend substance abuse. Um, I believe that there's substances that could help you, but I wouldn't rec. I don't. I don't like recommending people to take drugs, but or or to 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 do any of those practices. So I don't know, but um, it, it it starts on you working on yourself, and you you bettering every aspect of your life so that you no longer have things that are bringing you down. Eliminate all things that are negative in your life, all things that bring you down, all people who bring you down. You, you have to escape. I do believe in the karmic cycle, but it's one of the laws. It's one of the laws of the universe. Um, what you put, energy you put out into the universe, it, it will, will, it will, it will reciprocate. You, you will get back what you give. I just went over that. I do believe. I do believe that. What you, what you do, and what actions you make, and what you think will be your reality. I had social anxiety myself, like, um, that's why I don't communicate, that that's why, I, like, I, like, I don't, I don't go live all the time, I don't, I don't know how to talk, I mean, for me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out ways to, to speak, I want to make you guys read, so I'm writing a book, I'd rather write it down, so that I could actually get in depth, and that you could, so, so you could really, 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 really get into the roots of my mind. And that's why I'm writing movies, 
so that I could visually depict exactly what the fuck goes on in my brain. And I also want to make like psychological movies so that I could trip you guys out because it's fun. It's good to escape. <laughs> Uh, favorite horror movie that's hard that's gonna be hard I don't have a favorite I don't have a favorite I have favorites cause it depends on what you're talking about and what years from like what what what, what uh like what uh period of time you're talking about like whether it's like 80s or 90s, uh, early 2000s, even earlier, the 50s, like fucking 30s, like fucking weird shit. Advice on being yourself in a world where it's not accepted. Fuck what anybody thinks, bro. Stop letting you got stop letting yourself get depressed about people who don't even know you, bro. Or like who don't give a fuck. Like you're not who are you trying to who are you trying to impress? Who the, like be a hundred percent honest. Like who the fuck are you trying to impress? Who cares? Who are you trying to impress? Who who gives a fuck? No one cares. No one cares. At all. No one gives a fuck at all. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna kill my old self. Completely assassinate it. I'm gonna I'm I, I'm gonna delete everything I've ever made. Stop asking me if I sold my soul. I'm dropping an album of fucking music that I like, just sounds that I like, and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be releasing like, I wanna, I wanna do like, really, 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 really like, heavy synth pop shit, like dark, dark wave, dark wave like pop. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I love you guys too. If you really love me, I, I, if you guys really, really, really do love me though, I'll just please, I'm, I'm just gonna be myself. You know, that's it. And I recommend you guys all do the same. And if you can't accept me for it, I mean, too bad.
I have the same issue with not trusting people and feeling like every relationship is going to fail every, uh, anyway because I've been let down so much. I love Gerard Way. My chemical romance is amazing. Hell yeah, I got a Slipknot poster right here. And a Rob Zombie on right there. Event Sevenfold School, Three Days Grace School. Exactly. I would rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I am not. As you should, brother. What's up, Jordan? I'm signing to 10K Projects, Elliot Grange. It's like the owner of Universal Studios, so. Yeah, I listen to frequencies. I have frequencies playing right now. No, I would not do a song with NASCAR. I do want to have kids. I do believe in true true love. I would do a song with Scarlet. I already collaborated with the one artist I wanted I wanted to collaborate with, Ollie Sykes. I would I would do a song with Zilla. I would do a song with Gus, man. I won't collab with someone who stole my name. I am doing another song with Ian. Me and Ian are going to make a pop smash.
I have no hatred towards anybody. I love everybody. Unless you try to constrict or control me, and I will destroy you for that. I fuck with all the city more. I got the name Poor Stacy because I, I I I wanted I wanted to to like pretty much it was a, it was a sympathization for self but not really it's just a fucking name like everything else like i don't know i don't like to put too much meaning behind shit behind like you know i'm not trying to get too deep i'm changing my my legal name to stacy alice that's that that was the whole reason Yeah, uh, I love Connie from C Space, Space Cowboy. I would work with Connie. Yeah, I st I, I I hopped on Vanguard when I got home. I'm not doing a party at the Cemetery Deluxe. I'm dropping a new project soon as fuck soon as fuck like like within like the next like like what like before b before february before february the project will be out Say loves my guitarist. Then he produces records for me. Little Peep's amazing. <clears throat> I already previewed a song, a new song. Yeah, boys, I'm down to smoke. I'm, bro, I'm, ta I'm talking to my people, bro. My tattoos and piercings, these dots, and then this line that MGK stole from me that you guys know I've had since I've been touring with Ian years ago. Um, 
this, this whole line down my face represents staying on the right track in life. I'm, I have to put the line down my nose, but it's, it's native for, for keeping yourself on the right track in life. And you're supposed to drag it from inside your lip, like how I did, all the way fucking down your neck, all the way down to your, to, to your lower torso. Bro, I, I don't. I I I came to Florida because LA sucks, bro. It's like everything closes early as fuck. I mean, it's kind of like opening back up, but like it's just too restricted and it's dirty as hell, bro. And it'd be mad people in the streets and shit. The law of perpetual transmutation of energy means that you you could shift any energy in a room practically. So if you walk into a room and everybody's super negative or super down and out, you could change that, or you could make the energy in a room super negative. You you could you could control the narrative if you're conscious of it. If your energy strong enough, you can shift energy. You could transmute it. You could change it into. The, you could change energy into whatever you want it to be. Nah, none of my piercings reject because I'm not dirty. I use a skincare routine called Bionics that's very fucking expensive. And I, I, I constantly bathe. I buy multiples of clothes. So what I do is, is like I buy a bunch of the same shit. Like if I like something, I'll buy like a, like multiple copies of it. So like I could, I could rewear it. If I like the material or if I like the print, like I buy a bunch of it. Cause I, like I don't know I like I like like I cut like I, I, I create an image for myself and then I like I stay in that for a while until I evolve into something else. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 just a thing. Like when you find things you like, like anybody, like you 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 want to like you want more of it. Like I'm the type of person where if I like something, if I like how it fits, or if I like if I like it, like I'm I like it. You know, like I'm gonna continually like I'm gonna buy it. You know, and I'm I'm gonna continually get it. Yeah. What the hell? What's up, dude? Bro, I'm lit. I am literally yeah. live with you. Oh my god, that is insane. What's popping, bro? That is crazy. What's up? We were just jamming out to your. Bro, we were just jamming out to the album, bro. We were just Swear to so, God. Uh, I appreciate that, brother. Damn, I got I'm some... really talking to you. That is insane. Yeah, man, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you well, know how hard how, your how's, fucking how, music how, goes, bro. <laughs> how, how, how's your, how's you guys' day going? Uh, well, it's better now. We're just born yeah, as we shit, getting gas. Half the time. <laughs> yeah. We're just in the live, bro. We keep coming back and leaving, coming back. <laughs> That's sick, though. Fucking, we guys just chilling in the food and shit. Yeah. That's We're so just jamming out. Wow.
I said, I said what? So I was gonna ask. What's your name? Oh, Adrian. It's nice to meet you, Adrian. What were you gonna say? I was gonna ask you. Are you gonna do any collabs with the uh, Indie or or is that? Too yeah, hard? yeah, me, me, yeah. I was just uh, like I, I, I'll be staying at Ian's crib in LA. Like I stay at Ian's crib when I'm in LA and shit. So, fucking um, uh, we call it um, we're we're we're, we're gonna work. We're, we're trying to work on a pop hit, like a like a like a smash record for us to make together. Because me and Ian worked together when we were kids. You know, like we made songs when we were children. Now we're adults and <clears throat> like we're better at what we do. So. It's like I feel like yeah. if, we, if we took the time to sit down and like really, really work on records, like and make like some fire ass shit, like we could really probably go crazy, you know, make something that could chart. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna go insane. I hope. Yeah. I hope that really... one of the best collabs out there. Yeah, you are yeah. the best collabs. Okay. That, that's what we're, we're trying to. We want to do it right, you know. Ian's my brother, and like I never, I like I, I never looked to Ian to make records. Ian asked me to make this record that we're gonna make. So, you know, like I don't, you, like you know, it's like you never want to feel like you're using your brother. Ian's on top of the world right now, you know. So, yeah. it's kind of yeah. like yeah, you know, you don't want to, you you, you want to let your people do their thing. That's why, like, it's always mutual distance. Even though I could live with Ian, you know, like, I have a room in Ian's house, like, I still come back to my apartment and I do my thing. You know, I always try to just show respect, just show, be genuine, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's some shit. If I, man, we had money like that, I'm pretty sure me and my friend would do the same exact thing. Exactly. Like, you like, we, 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 we could be together for, for a while, but we still need our space. And we have way more shit to talk about. And, like, you know, we live our own lives and we come together and bring our different worlds together. It's so crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna let some other people join the live. All right, man. It was really nice talking to you, bro. That's this is really this, this is really crazy. crazy. It's nice <laughs> talking to you guys as well. I hope you guys have a good right. ass, good ass day or night or whatever. I don't know what your time zone is. Man, I, <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of the, everything, bro. Just keep making, making bangers, up. bro. Yeah, keep making bangers, man. Thank you, bro. I love you guys. All right, we love you too, man. All right, brother. All right, see you. Hey, yo, what's up, Jim? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Hey, yo, I want to say, bro, like, okay, so I first found about you at the NASCAR Isla show. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I was going to say, ever since that day, that was like March, right, this year? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, dude. I did way too many shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Not for real, no. Nah, but ever since when I found, because, like, that's my first time seeing you, like, because I didn't know who you were. But then ever since that moment, bro, like, I fuck with your music, bro. So, like, I want to say, like, bro, you a hard-ass dude, bro. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. No, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, um, keep doing shows in Florida, bro. Like, I, I know you're from Florida. Like, I'm about to throw. I'm about to throw. I'm throwing a show in Florida before I go to Europe. As like a, oh, word? Yeah. As, a, as, a, as, a, as a, I'm sorry. Like, I'm going to put together a big-ass event. I'm going to bring right, it. Say no more. I'm gonna bring out Blood Bather. I'm gonna bring out like Lex. I'm gonna bring out uh, like with Locust. I'm trying to bring out with Locust and Liars, like everybody, all the homies from Florida. Hell yeah, hell yeah, my boy. Yeah, yeah. bro. Like you put in Florida on the map. I fuck with you, bro. I yeah, that's what I'm you, trying man. to do. All right, bro. I'm gonna let you be, man. You know, you're a cool ass dude, all right? I appreciate Easy. it. Brother. All right, right. Peace. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Well. Uh. Yeah. Alright, I'm done answering lives.
I don't really feel pain like that. That's why I, 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 that's why I had self mutilation issues. I don't. I, I had like I, I was numb. It was hard for me to feel. That's why I used to abuse drugs too, just to feel things. I wanted to do anything to feel things. Yeah, no, I have a high pain tolerance. No. I'm 22 years old. My favorite songs I made are, the, are, are, are gonna be the ones on this EP. I'm dropping new tracks before January, like January. I'll, I'll be dropping new tracks by January. My cat died. Do you guys wanna see his dead body? I dropped out in ninth grade to do what the fuck I want. And I continued to study and read. This is the this is like his collars he died with, <clears throat> and then these are his paw prints. I have a vial with his shit in it, not literal shit, but like blood and hair. I have his bow tie he used to wear, Sid Vicious. Fucking, um, there's still blood on it from when he died. And then I have his carcass and his bones. His skulls in there, everything. Yeah, Sid fucking died. Um, I, I have a mo I've, I have multiple career paths I want to follow. So I'm writing movies. Um, I want to publish books, and I want to make music, and I want to create clothes. Um, I like philosophy.
I already wrote a horror movie with my friend uh, Aldo, Damien Delore. I met Ali just through social media. He reached out. Yeah, I watched me like that. Let's go right over. I'm like six four. I scrapped Hollywood because Travis Barker started working with everybody. I don't like working with people who work with everyone. It's weird. That means that they're doing it for money, not because they really like you. Yeah, I watched Resident Evil. Yeah, I watched Akira. It was sick as fuck. Deftones is amazing. Yeah, I met Travis. Hell no, I don't have those dreams. <laughs> I'm not most most proud of any song. Maybe the newer shit that I'm making, but bro, it's just fucking music. It's random. It comes from nowhere. It's just random ideas. I don't, I don't want to be the old me. I lost my virginity at like 12, 13. My favorite directors are like Gaspar now, Quentin Tarantino, Stanley Kubrick, there's a bunch, Rob Zombie. Yeah, I want to find love. I don't know. Trippy always gives me weird energy every time we're around each other. So I don't know.
Yeah, I'm gonna start doing pop ups for meet and greets too with merch, and like we're just gonna kick it like skate parks and shit like that. I'm going to go, guys. <clears throat> I love you. I'll be going live again soon. Um, I'll go live a little earlier so we can have a bunch more people in here. But I love you. Thank you guys for the support. Um, I will continue to work on myself as you should yourself. Um, I hope everything works out for all of you guys. I fucking really, really do. Um, keep doing what you want to do. Don't fucking fall in line. Don't follow orders. And if they fucking try to make you, you fucking kill them. You destroy them. You you, 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 you you murder anything in your path that's stopping you from doing what you want to do or being who you want to be, brother. Yo! What's good? What's good? What's happening, fam? What's hey, going on? Hey, that's a real shit that you're telling them folks, now. Yeah, brother, you already know. We always got to keep it all the way, all the way, all the way real. Okay, then. You know, I just want to say what's happening. Yeah, you already know. It's love, brother. I yeah, for y'all. Hey, for phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to call you. I'm, I'm, I'm about to end the live right now, so I'm going to call you right after. All right, say less. Already, already. All right, you guys. I love you. Um, Seriously. Don't fucking fall in line, and if they try to make you fall in line, you fucking destroy them. You fucking destroy them. You destroy them with no mercy. They will, they will not have mercy for you, so do not have mercy for them at all. I love you. Bye, you guys.